Hey guys, welcome to another review. Now today, boys, we are reviewing Batman Forever. Then we got Batman and Robin, and then we got Star Wars: The Phantom Menace. The last two reviews of today. Then tomorrow we're gonna do the best of Star Wars franchise, and then we're gonna start cracking at the Harry Potter franchise. So that's gonna be good. Let's get into Batman Forever. So Batman Forever came out in 1995. It's a fantasy stuff. I think it was two hours, two minutes long. We see two Faith hostage in an acid trap. Batman gets on, uh, get on plane and heads there, and they have a massive fight on the plane. We meet Edward Nigma. He's a fan of Bruce Wayne in this from Enigma captured guy, uh, Fred his name is, uses contraption which collects the, his, their IQ and puts it into his head. Um, and then Enigma pushes him out the window and falsifies uh, the footage that shows him literally just falling out the window by accident. Then Bruce takes Dr. Chess to the circus, obviously you know where this one's going. Two-Face puts a bomb in there and the Graysons work together to get rid of it. But Two-Face kills the dad, the brother and the mum. And leaves Dick and Bruce takes him in. Riddler. Comes up with names and that. But the mannequin mocks his choices until he comes up with the Riddler. Riddler gives Bruce... Um, he meets up with Two Face and they join to collide together to kill Batman. Two Face comes to the party, raids the party, and destroys the device. Two Face and Riddler raid Bruce's house and blow it all up. Batman and Robin head to Riddler Island. They start playing battleships. Yeah, Robin starts to beat the shit out of Two Face. Two Face falls, and uh, then they get there's a scene where I couldn't be asked to fucking watch, uh, but there's a really good scene where, um, basically, he had to parkour from this like blade trap. But yeah, Two, uh, Two Face captures Robin. He has to pick one, and the other one dies, but they save the other one. Two Face is then the, the base. The Batman kills him by throwing uh, all the coins up in the air and tries to grab his one, but falls. To his death, and the Riddler IQ goes down, and he, and it just makes him. He has now a fear of bats, and then he heads to Arkham Asylum, and he pretends that he thinks he's the Batman. I guess from ten out of ten, I really love it. It held heart to me. I watched it after I had my little accident. My head cracked it open. Obviously, this is what I've watched, and I have had a soft spot for this film ever since this that incident. But yeah, we're gonna see you guys in a not so popular film, Batman and Robin. Bye-bye.